about to have my second ever beer by the Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Nevada. First one was a scary Imperial Stout. This one is a not-so-scary IPA, so this one should be a little tastier for me, hopefully. <gasps> what be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Lagunitas IPA. Yeah, isn't it cute? <laughs> actually bought a six pack of these, so... Hoping this one's good, because there's five more in the fridge. Hopefully. Come on, I can do it! I can do it! I got it! Yes, look at that. No look. No look grab. Fucking right. Of course the glass wasn't there, so, you know, can't have everything going well all the time. Shit. <laughs> Let's see what we've got! Whoops, that was a little spill. That didn't happen. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Nobody saw anything. Ah, oh, wow. I'm just, I'm off to a great start here to try to put that over there too. Holy shit. Yeah, things are going great. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Oh yeah, that looks like a pretty nice IPA. Fucking cat hair. Yeah, huh? Got a bit of a malty aroma going on there. A little bit different. Fucking cat hair. Jesus Christ! Let's give her a shot. Ooh. Ooh, that's got a really nice, nice flavor to it. Decent hoppiness and then fades away into some, a little bit of maltiness that's there. I like it. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Not sure if any of you are uh, missing the IPA glass that I've used a couple times now. It broke. It died. I'm sad. I'm sorry. Sorry, little glass. This has got some really good hoppy presence going on. Not super lingering. Like the bitterness doesn't really stick around, but it's pretty good. Today being December 4th, on this date 1909, in Canadian football, the first Grey Cup game was held, was played, held, played, played and held. Blah, 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 blah. University of Toronto Varsity Blues defeated the Toronto Parkdale Canoe Club 26-6. That's right, there was a football team called the Canoe Club. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit different than a lot of other IPAs I've tried, but... I, I do like it. It's not too bad at all. On this date in 1909, the same day as the last fact, sorry that almost tripped me up a little bit, the Montreal Canadiens Ice Hockey Club, the oldest surviving professional hockey franchise in the world, was founded as a charter member of the National Hockey Association. Good for us. Canada. Hockey land. I don't really play myself, but a lot of people do like that sport, so to each his own. Excuse me. No bad flavors there. On this date in 1918, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson sailed for the World War I peace talks in Versailles? I don't know, some fucking place across the ocean. He became the first U.S. President to travel to Europe while in office. Which is pretty insane. 1918. There were a few presidents before him, but nobody ever 
left. The, I don't know. I don't know. Mm hmm. It's an interesting beer. Oh, we got some. I'm assuming there's not going to be ingredients or a date because American beers seem to have some kind of thing against that. For some weird... Yeah, I don't see a date on here. More ingredients. Apparently, this is 2.2 of those fucking weird. You can't even see it. Come on now. There, kind of. It's like right there. The UK units that you're not supposed to have more of like four in a day or whatever. 6.2% alcohol. Thanks for choosing to spend the next few minutes with this specially, with this special homicidally hoppy ale. Homicidally hoppy. Not so much. Savor the moment as the raging hop character engages the imperial qualities of the malt foundation in mortal combat on the battlefield of your palate. I like the the way that's worded, but there's no mortal combat going on on my, uh, on my tongue at all. And that's, that's all we got on there. So. It's pretty good, but I don't know. Not getting the, the homicidal hoppiness that you're saying. It's definitely hoppy. But it's, it's, it's good as well. I don't know. It's just... Nicely balanced. That, that's the phrase I'm looking for. On this date in 1954, the first Burger King was opened in Miami. Yeah, lots of them around now. Although there isn't one here in my hometown in North Bay. There used to be. It closed down. Ah. <sighs> sad because you know as far as the fast food I don't eat fast food a lot but a and w and Burger King are probably my two favorites and I can't choose Burger King here no nah. yeah just the complete overall profile of this beer is it's really well done finally on the state in 1998 the unity module the second module of the international space station was launched excuse me again and um in honor of that that's uh drink number the last Lagunitas, your IPA rating. It's getting a 7. Would have been a 9, but you have no ingredients and you have no date. Fix your shit. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A piece of... That may be the shortest vlog I've ever recorded in my life. I've only been recording for 9 minutes and 50 seconds. Yay me. Yay for tiny beers. And stuff. Things. Meh.